All right, guys, I got a uh, Toshiba Satellite A665 series laptop here. I'm going to be uh, replacing the speakers in it because they're blown. Uh, pretty much the first thing you want to do is turn it over, push this lever over, and then this one hold it over, push the battery out, and then take out every single Phillips screw that says F8 on them. Let's say F8 right next to the screw all the way around. Except for the hard drive cover, you do not have to remove this one. Um, you can leave the DVD drive in it if you want, but I'm just going to take it out and here's a screw for it. It just pops right out. Just make sure you got all the screws out because when you go to lift up the keyboard, which I'm going to do next, if you accidentally forget one and the keyboard is being held up, it won't come out and you might damage it. Pretty much. Pretty simple. Get you a little flat blade screwdriver. Pry up on it a little bit. And then it just pops free. And there's a little ribbon cable right here. And there's two little tabs. If I can't get you a closer view. Two little tabs here. Push it one side up. Push the other side up. And it'll just lift right up out of there. And when you go to put it back in, just push it all the way in. And then push these tabs back in. Uh, do it uh, with both hands so that you don't put too much force on one side and actually snap it. So, this keyboard will just lift right up out of here. There's a ribbon cable here. It has a little blue uh, tab on it. Just grab that blue tab and pull straight back. Same way with this one. And there's speaker connections here. And it simply pulls off after you get these two screws out. One here, one there. Just get in here and just pry it up kind of gently <clears throat> to make sure you don't you didn't forget a screw or something. This whole top piece will come right off. And the speakers. <clears throat> We're just right connected to the uh, bottom of the top piece. And they're uh, held in by two screws. And these uh, wires are in here. They're pretty tightly routed. So when you put the new ones in, make sure you uh, tuck the wires in. And these little catches here. And lift up this piece here. There you are. Now you're going to want to clean out the dust and stuff a little bit here. <coughs> you can just blow on it. Get all the uh, dust and crap out of there.
as you can see with the old one. Now the speaker on the sides, the rubber's completely gone. The other side was alright, but it was really dusty and crackling still. These new ones are uh, pretty good. I got them off eBay for about three dollars and fifty cents, so it's pretty cheap. Alright, screws back in, we're good to go. You don't want to over tighten these, just snug them. They're real small screws and they're real easy to strip. Got them in. Now just set the uh, top piece right back down. Press it down firmly so all it snaps in place. There it is. Plug in your connections. Now with the uh, the small ribbon cables, when you go to put them in, be very gentle because uh, these little pads right here, little copper, gold, little looking pads, they will actually peel up and over if you don't get it in there exactly right and push it down. So just take your time with it. Once you feel you have it, push it in. That was a little tough because the, the blue pad, the blue uh, tab here is starting to come unglued from it. I think I got it in there though. And it's a good time to take some air duster and blow out your fan. Or disassemble it even further and uh, reapply the thermal paste and heat sink. Keep it from overheating. Now for this keyboard, just push it all the way up forward, and you'll be able to take this, slide it right in there, a lot easier. It's kind of tricky, but make sure it's all the way in, and then push down on your locking tabs.
Put it in this way first. And then push down, snap it in. Actually, don't forget your two screws that go on the uh, top piece. And then really all you gotta do is slide your DVD driver back in. And then put all your screws back in. Like I said, not too tight. Because uh, if you overdo it, you can strip them out. You know, that'll break the little plastic uh, piece that actually holds the screw in place. And it'll leave you with, you know, cracks and, you know, your flimsy laptop, you know. Put your battery back in. We're good to go.